Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with RStudio Cloud for reading and writing files. Project steps 12, 13, and 16 will ask you to take data that we've already analyzed on Galaxy, download it to your computer, and upload it to RStudio Cloud to change the format of the data or process it in some other way. This homework assignment will get you ready to implement those steps. The first thing you're going to do is go to our Studio Cloud, start a new project. And then under Workspace, you're going to click on New Project and open up a folder that looks something like this. When you first open it up, you won't see any script windows. You should see three parts to the screen. The right hand panel has the environment. It will start out empty because you won't have any variables that you're reading in and you haven't created any variables yet. A files folder. When you first start a new project, you'll just see .r history and project.rproj. And each of the files that you create will go to this file, into this file folder. The first thing I want you to do is click the plus icon, R script, and create a new place for you to type commands. Throughout this class, we will not type demand commands directly onto the console. Rather, we'll type them in the script and use the run button to launch them to the console. This provides a record of every single command that you've run, and it gives a way for you to turn in your commented commands to me on Canvas instead of just um, having the files that you create over here. I've already made uh, R script, so I'm going to just open it up. And the first line of the R script is to run the library command on a package. So a lot of the tools that we use in bioinformatics will not be commands that are part of base R. Instead, these are going to be commands that people have written as additional tools. And each of these additional tools gets put together in a list of functions called a package. We have to install packages before we can use them. The library command doesn't perform the installation process. It just enables you to use those functions in your script. To install the package, you need to go to Tools, Install Packages, and type the name of the package. In this case, it's called Read XL, and click Install. This will launch a command to the console. I'm going to cancel it because I've already installed it. Um, and it would take a, a few minutes to scroll through all of the individual parts of installing the package. You know it's complete when you see this blue greater than symbol reappear in the console. Once you've installed the package, you're ready to run the library command. Notice I didn't highlight that whole line. I just made sure that my mouse is on it. When I click run, it runs the current line. So you don't have to highlight um, in order to run. Then I'm going to use one of the functions in the library that I just loaded called read Excel. And I'm going to read in the Spotify charts that are posted as part of this assignment. So on Canvas, you'll click and download this file onto your computer. In our Studio Cloud, you'll use this upload button to get the file into the cloud folder so that it's accessible for your script. Once you make sure it's there, you want to make sure that you type the name perfectly. One thing that helps me a lot in RStudio is to start typing the name of the file and then type tab. That way, I know that I haven't made any typos in a long name or a long variable name, and I'm sure that that is the file that's really there. When I run that line, I'll see a new variable created in the environment. It's 200 observations of five variables. So it's 200 rows with five columns. I can click on the data to see what it looks like. And you can see these are the Spotify charts for today. So it has the position of every song, the track name, the artist, the number of streams, and then it has a URL link to the song. What I want you to do in this assignment 
is get rid of that column of data that isn't pure data, isn't something we'd make a graph of. So we're gonna get rid of the fifth column. We're only gonna keep columns one through four by running this line. My data frame is equal to, and you'll notice the R equal to, you can use the equal sign, but more commonly we'll use an arrow composed of two characters. So less than and then dash, XLSX data, comma, because that means keep all rows. I haven't specified which rows I'm keeping. And then only keep columns one through four. When I run this, I create a new data frame, same number of rows, one fewer column. I can look at it and I see it has all of the data there about track and artist, but it's missing that URL column that I wanted to get rid of. Now we're ready to write that data frame to a new file in a new format. So we're gonna write it as a CSV file, a comma separated variable file. It's a text file that's easy to open in spreadsheets. What goes into this command is the name of the data, the name of the file, and then any extra parameters you want for formatting. When I export data from R, I like to set row names equal to false and quote equal to false. Once I write this, you see that my files have changed. There's a new file that appears here. And I can actually view the file and see that it has all the same data that was in the Excel sheet, except now it's separated by commas um, and it's, it's just a text file. Once you've completed that assignment, your file will be named something different for your last name. You're ready to submit on Canvas and upload your final CSV file. Let me know if you have any questions.